Hello, I want to introduce to you the book, The Soul of Remedies. And I want to tell you what this book is all about. Basically, the Homeopathic Materia Medica is written in a kind of an objective way. That means, how does the remedy behave, what does he crave, what does he fear, etc., etc. For example, lachesis. It would be lachesis is talkative, lachesis is jealous, it is suspicious, it has got like choking in the throat. These are the things you can see objectively about lachesis. But how does lachesis see the world? How is the perception from within? What is the subjective experience for a lachesis person? This other side of the story is what the book Soul of Remedies is about. It's about the perception of each of these remedies. How do they perceive reality? And I believe that that is really the essence or the soul of that remedy. So I have put in this book 100 remedies which I use very, very often. And these are the 100 remedies which come again and again in practice. I believe that if you really master these 100 remedies, it's, it's a very big asset in practice. You can solve a huge percentage of your cases with that. And over a period of time, I realized that these pictures, these descriptions, one-page descriptions of each of these 100 remedies is, uh, stands the test of time. And patients almost exactly express the exact words that are written here. It is quite uncanny in that sense. So what does the description of each remedy comprise of? I have tried to understand or describe the kingdom, the mayasm, the main idea, the main delusion, the main perception of each remedy along with the main characteristics and the main confirmatory symptoms mentally and physically. I found that with practical experience and after he having seen a very good number of cases of each remedy, more or less each patient of that remedy has a set of confirmatory symptoms. Some symptoms of that remedy keep coming back in the various patients who need it. And I put those symptoms down because you can almost confirm the remedy by asking those symptoms. For example, I'll give you an example here of Naja. So I've written here, Naja is prepared from the venom of the Indian cobra. And it has the qualities of snake remedies such as loquacity, attractive talk, malice, jealousy, etc. But what differentiates Naja from other snake remedy is a strong feeling of duty, a strong feeling of I have to do it right, a strong sense of guilt that I shouldn't do anything wrong. So what happens is in Naja, it is written here, that there is a conflict between the feeling of having suffered wrong on the one hand. That means as if somebody has done wrong to me. So there is consequently a feeling of revengefulness, there is malice, there is anger, there is a kind of viciousness. But at the same time, there is another side which says, even though I have suffered wrong, but it is my duty not to do wrong to the other person. I have given an example here that it's a split between the feeling of duty and having 
and the feeling of having suffered wrong. For example, a daughter-in-law and a very, very tyrannical mother-in-law. And then you see on the one side, this daughter-in-law is feeling neglected and wrong, but at the same time, she feels dutiful and responsible. And there is a kind of conflict between these two sides. I have done a proving of Naja along with Yugen Becker in Mumbai. And one of the dreams of the, of the provers really stands out. And I've mentioned that dream also, where there's a woman, uh, the, the prover, She is staying as a paying guest in somebody's house. And one day suddenly this woman who owns the house throws her out of the house for no reason. And it's at night, you know, she has nowhere to go. And she feels very angry. That, why is she doing this? But as she is throwing her out of the house, that lady, that landlady, she falls down and breaks her leg and she appeals to this prover for help. And the prover is a doctor. So as a doctor, it is a duty to help. But at the same time, she feels so wronged and she wants actually the other woman to suffer. So she wakes up with this duality. Should I help her or should I not help her? So this proving really brings out the conflict of Naja and I have mentioned that. And then I have given the confirmatory symptoms of dreams of snakes, the feeling of being pursued, the dreams of flying and the rubrics that one can understand Naja with. So there is a confirmation through the rubrics of the two wills that she has or wrong she has suffered or wrong she has done etc. So that's the one-page summary of Naja, giving in essence its perception, its kingdom, its mayaism, its main idea, the confirmatory symptoms, etc. And if you go through that, it actually uh, gives you a very good idea of how Naja perceives the world. And this kind of description of 100 remedies is uh, is very very useful in practice and uh, no doubt that this soul of remedies is among the most well read and the most popular books uh, that i have written so have a look and uh, benefit from this book bye <laughs>